So I'm going to show you some tips on how to create or modify your password within VPO. Now, here at the VPO site, you can put in your name and username and password. And if you've forgotten your password, you can click on this Forgot Your Password link. And it'll take you to uh, a page where you can put in your username and email and click Reset Password. And you'll be emailed uh, a temporary password that you can put in and allow you to reset the password. And that will basically be the workflow that we're just about to go through, which is similar to a new user. And when you're a new user, you'll get sent an email, which will look similar to this. And uh, in this email, uh, it has a link to VPO, but it also has your username and a temporary password. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this password. I'm going to go up to Edit, Copy. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this email. And I'm going to go over here to VPO and put in my username. And in the password, I'm going to paste in that temporary password that I was sent. So I'm going to go up to Edit, Paste, and click Login. And this will bring me to a page where I'm able to create a password of my own. And it's going to give me some information about um, what rules there are in creating a password. Now, over here it says um, it must contain at least one special character. And here's some examples of what a special character might be. It also has to contain at least one character from two of the following categories. So it has to have an uppercase letter or and a lowercase letter or a number. So it has to have two. So it can have a lowercase and a number, an uppercase and a number, or an upper and lowercase uh, letter. And third, it must be at least eight characters long. Now, on the must not side, it cannot be the same as one of your last eight previous passwords. So it has to be unique uh, past the last eight that you've set. It also must not contain the full username. So, for example, if your username is jsmith, you can't have jsmith123 as your password. Um, it won't allow it. And it also cannot exceed 30 characters. Now that's a lot of characters and it, that probably isn't going to come up, but that just is something that you cannot exceed. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the current password. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that by going up to Edit Paste if it's still in your clipboard. And I'm going to type in uh, the new password. And once it matches, uh, I'm going to click Save. And it'll give me a confirmation message letting me know that the password was successfully changed. I'm going to click OK. And I'm brought into VPO. Now, if I want to change my password at any time, I can click My Options and It'll bring me to the General tab, and in that General tab, under Password, I'm able to change my password. So if I click on that, it brings me to this uh, Change Password screen, and I can repeat that process all over again.